I know earlier you were telling me that you thought maybe Godzilla symbolized something bigger. Mm. We'll continue later. Hi, I'm Kip Islington with Go For It Pest Control, and welcome to another of our educational film strips. I'm here with Toya, who's a social media ninja here at GoForth. Toya, how are you? I'm good. How are you? No one has asked. I understand, Toya, you have four DIY pest prevention tips here to share with us. Actually, it's about five. Five. I have four in my notes. Fire whoever typed this. So, Toya, what's your first tip? So the first tip would definitely be to make sure that um, there's no entry for the insects to enter into your home. I have three rather large holes in my home, but I blocked them with three large pieces of wood that they called doors. Now, Toya, do you feel like these doors are the wave of the future? Um, sure. Possibly, probably not. I mean, even with uh, a small hole the size of a dime, a my, um, mouse can still uh, get through. That explains it. Toya, after you frightened me, what's tip number two? For number two, you definitely want to make, uh, maintain your yard. So when maintaining your yard, you want to make sure that your grass isn't too high. Um, it, it can be an increase when it comes to ticks. I uh, also want to make sure that you cut down any shrubs or bushes that you have. It's a breeding for ants and for spiders. In my spare time, I'm a bit of an uh, artiste, if you will. I build tiny bridges made of meat that lead up to my home. It's a statement to the world that we should all meet each other. Are you saying I should knock these down? Probably so, yeah. You definitely see a lot of insects near your home if you have a whole bunch of meat sack next to your front door. This is mind-blowing, but also a little deflating because I love my meat bridges. Toya, tip number three. Um, definitely want to make sure that you get rid of any standing water. Um, when it comes to standing water, it is breeding for mosquitoes. So any flower pots that you have, uh, kitty pools or buckets, you're going to make sure that you go ahead and dump those. Toya, I feel like you've been to my home. And it's a little frightening. I have an outdoor bathtub in my front yard. My neighbors don't care for it, but it's really the only sensible place I can put it. Do you think it's a problem? Yes. Probably so. What could be bad? So with an outdoor bathtub, we would definitely have a lot of mosquitoes. A lot. Did you know mosquitoes suck our blood? I recently found this out. Toya, could you please continue with tip number four? Yes. So for tip number four, when traveling, you definitely want to double check all of your luggage. Um, you want to double check for bed bugs. So any signs would be brown stains you see on the bedding, the mattress, but especially the headboard. So if you're traveling with any luggage, you can even uh, make sure that you put it into a big plastic bag so that way you can avoid bed bugs. Toya, I've got to ask, are all brown stains a sign of bed bugs? Um... Always. Noted. <laughs> uh, your final tip? Uh, the last tip is definitely to clean. Uh, just make sure that you clean the area and you're just taking out the trash regularly so that way uh, you just won't see as many insects in your home or on your outside if you're having a picnic or party. A pile of crumbs or open soda cans are uh, definitely a treasure chest for ants and insects. How would an actual treasure chest appear to an ant? Would it look like a pile of crumbs? I believe so. See, I thought it would work like that. I feel like we learned that in math. Do you have any final thoughts, Toya, perhaps about calling in professionals? If you use these tips at home and you can't get rid of the bugs, you definitely want to go ahead and call in the experts here at Go Forth Pest Control. That's right. I did not know you were going to say that. <laughs> Thus ends this educational film strip. I'd like to thank Toya for her tips. Toya, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. You're welcome. Until next time, kids, don't love the bugs, shove the bugs away from your home. Goodbye. So, Toya, we were talking earlier about the Kraken.